Welcome back everyone, in this movie I'm going to show some of the steps that are necessary to create the UDA server. Those of you who are not familiar with the UDA server, I suggest taking a look at my first video in which I showed a computer which has no CD-ROM or floppy or hard drive connected to it and it was booted solely over the network. Now what I've done from the beginning of this movie was actually install the VMware server which is freely available from, uh, from VMware's main site. Now what I'm going to do is open or mount the UDA server which is also available for free both from the VMware server site as a VMware appliance and from the developer's site shown on the screen. After I've extracted the files I go back to the VMware server, I select file from the menu and open and then I go to where the files were extracted to, then I look for the configurations file after I've opened that file, the machine is now in my inventory and uh, after I've hit play, it's, uh, it's going to run. Now as the virtual machine is booting up here in the background, I want to give you a short description as to what exactly virtual machines are. A virtual machine is an emulation environment in which one can run practically any operating system, including DOS, Windows and Linux. This simulation environment represents a complete computer system and this quote-unquote computer system can be easily migrated. This migration is possible because the guest operating system can be moved by just copying its files to another computer running the emulation environment. And UDA is one of the appliances spawned from this trend. Now going back to the purpose of this video, I'm going into the UDA's uh, IP configuration file and I'm going to change it to suit my network. Now while I'm typing the configurations here, I'd like to note that your other possibility was to change your own, your, your real computer's IP address to fit the range of the UDA server. And there's nothing wrong with that, but this is the way I prefer it. Alright, I've just finished editing the configuration file and now I'm going to restart the network so the configurations will take place. Now as you can see I'm actually restarting the network service by using the, the configuration file in Etsy but uh, you could do it by using ifconfig if you desire to. Now I'm going to run ifconfig in order to verify the, uh, that the IP address has uh, indeed changed and now that I saw, saw that it did I'm going to go with my Internet Explorer into that uh, IP address to see if my UDA server is up and running and yes it is this is the the welcome page for the UDA server I'm going to go in and I'm typing in the default uh, password which is uh, admin and now that I'm in I'm going over all the tabs I just want to give you a general idea of, uh, of the configurations that are in here and we're gonna go over them uh, in the coming videos and I just want to know that we're able to connect to the UDA server using WinSCP and once we connected uh, you can see here that we have a brand new UDA server that uh, we're going to configure in the coming videos. Thank you for watching and please leave a comment or rate my video so I know how I'm doing.